mean, obviously you've re-signed with the club. Just tell me, how does that feel? Yeah, um, obviously this is like the sort of third deal, you know, I've signed and, you know, it's, you know, just feels as good as the first one, really. Um, you know, really excited to, you know, sort of get back into like a, you know, a proper season, hopefully. Um, you know, last season was, you know, quite a struggle with injury and whatnot, but, you know, I'm pretty happy how I came back from that. I feel I started to play some good rugby, so yeah, just happy to crack into pre-season properly with all the boys and whatnot. So yeah, just really excited. Yeah, and what was it that made you want to stay at the club? I just, I think, I think Skibbs has come in and he's, you know, the, the culture of the club, I think, is like, it is, is me written all over. You know, Skibbs epitomises, you know, he talks about hard work and that's, that's what's going to get you, you know, opportunities. You know, if, you know, it doesn't matter as long as you work hard, you know, as long as you've got a right attitude and, you know, you buy into the team value and culture, like, you're going to get them opportunities. And, you know, that's why I sort of, that's what I believe in. That's sort of my, you know, what I sort of, yeah, one of the, that's the sort of team I want to play for as well, definitely, yeah. Yeah, and um, just tell me, how did how did that all come back? Who did you tell first when you'd re-signed? Have you got proud proud parents? Uh, well, yeah, so, yeah, so my uh, my family all live in uh, Perth in Australia. Um, so they, so I literally say just as soon as I sort of, you know, agreed the deal, um, phoned, phoned my mum straight away, um, you know, let her know. Obviously, you know, it's been quite tough with the COVID. I haven't been able to see them. A good year and a half, unfortunately, but you know, it's moments like that that you know, sort of, well, it's worth it, you know. And I think it was, you know, quite a big, you know, you know like a good family moment, I think, definitely, yeah, you know, tough times, but yeah, definitely just phone the parents and yeah, let them know all about it. That must be so hard not seeing your parents for that long, yeah. As I say, it's uh, it's yeah, it's tough, you know, obviously with the COVID, you know, injury, but you know. Looking back at last season, you know, there's definitely loads of moments that, you know, made it worth it. You know, got my Prem debut, you know, champ debut and, you know, signed a new deal. So, you know, when I look back at it, I think, yeah, you know, it was tough, but, you know, definitely, definitely worth it. I don't think there's, you know, any other place I would have rather have done it at. Yeah, definitely. And how key is getting those opportunities you just mentioned there to, you know, you wanting to stay at the club? Because you mentioned there you've made, you know, your Prem debut. You had some time at Hartbury as well. Um you know, Gloucester seems to be giving plenty of opportunities to some of the academy lads. Was that sort of key for you wanting to stay? Yeah, I'd say definitely. I think, you know, Gloucester especially, you know, you look at the sort of some of the young boys coming through, you know, Zana, Varney, Jack Clement, Barton, you know, all, all these boys, you know, it's not, it's not out of luck, you know, all these boys are working hard. And I think that, you know, they're showing what they can do. But yeah, that's what I mean. They give, they're getting given the opportunity by the coaches and, you know, the fair, fair play to them and they'll take them. I think that's, you know, it's not just for them, it's for the whole academy. You know, we get opportunities and it's just, you know, it's in our hands then what we do with it. And yeah, it's just really exciting to sort of see what next season holds. Yeah, definitely. And I feel like Gloucester, you know, there's a lot of focus from, you know, the management in Skivington about the academy and getting that pathway of talent coming through. And obviously, we've seen Carl Hogg um, joining the club um, in his role. Um, I guess, yeah, that just sort of shows how committed Gloucester is to producing local talent. Well, yeah, no, definitely. Um, you know, obviously, I, I'm, you know, I wouldn't say I'm a local lad, but, you know, I moved here when I was 16. I've been living in Gloucester, you know, for near, near enough four or five years now. Uh, so I think, you know, they're looking at, they're not, you know, bringing in 20 year olds in, you know, 22 year olds in, you know, they're looking at these, these young lads who come through the academy, you know, 16 year olds, 18 year olds, you know, they're nurturing them, you know, they're definitely looking, you know, long term, they're not just looking who's, who's flash and ready at the moment, they're looking, you know, who can we, can, who can we develop, who's, you know, gonna, gonna come good for us in a few years, I think definitely, I think, you know, with Carl coming in, I think it just shows, you know, they're, they're investing into the academy and, um, you know, you look at, you know, you look at our academy for next season, like, you know, a lot of these boys, you know, it's our sort of second, third year, fourth year in the academy. And it sort of shows that, you know, they're, they're sticking true to their words. They're definitely, you know, nurturing us. They're not just, you know, bringing people in, bringing them out. They're definitely, you know, committed to sort of growing that academy. And, you know, as, and as, as I mentioned earlier, you know, they're starting to sort of, a few boys are starting to push through into the first team, which is, you know, great for all of us. Yeah. And obviously there was some exciting news announced this morning about the training facility. Uh, have you had a chance to look at the photos yet? And if so, how excited are you about training there next season? Yeah, looks, I say, it looks, um, looks unreal. Um, you know, a few of us, we had a few, uh, you know, friendly games against Bristol, and you know, sort of seeing them training facilities. And then, you know, yesterday we sort of found out about that, and I think that's, you know, on par, even better than Bristol. Plus, it's right in the middle of the town. It's just, it's so exciting, you know, for the club 
I think again just shows their commitment to you know nurturing nurturing the squad and just giving us the resources to you know be able to play at our very best level and hope you know do something special in the coming few seasons. But yeah, so excited! I think the fans, you know, as it's you know right next to the stadium, middle of the town, that new hospitality section. I think it's something the fans can get really excited about as well. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Just a couple more questions, if that's all right. Um, obviously, we've come to the end of this season. Um, just talk me through, you know, your plans ahead of next season. Obviously, come out of isolation, but um, you know, are you going to have some time off? And then, when does training restart? And I was speaking to George Barton. He said he's um, going to have a few uh, extra meals to try and put a few extra kilos on. Um, so yeah, I wondered, you know, if you've got anything like that you're going to work on over the summer. Yeah, so I think, you know, obviously come out of isolation, I'll probably just take a week, you know, just to sort of get get my head down, just proper relax. But say we've already, all, all the SSC staff have all been in contact with us, you know, sent our, us our individual programmes. I think for me, you know, the main thing I want to be doing is just, you know, putting on lean mass, um, getting fitter, you know. And we had a big uh, Zoom meeting with Skibs yesterday and, you know, he, you know, he laid it straight with us. There's not going to be a sort of, you know, build up into pre-season. You know, he expects us to not let all the work we've done over the last season just to get lost over five weeks. You know, he expects us to come in fit, you know, it's, and it's going to be tough, but I think it's it's exciting. And that's what I sort of referred to earlier, you know, I think it's a good opportunity to show how hard, you know, you know, myself, I can work for the club. I think it's dead exciting. But yeah, I think, yeah, first week, just chill and then sort of get get into the, get into the, you know, the gym, get running and just, yeah, enjoy the sun for a bit as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Do you enjoy pre-season? I, I guess it's the one time a year you can really push yourself um, fitness-wise and not have to worry about, you know, game at the weekend or, you know, um, it's a good opportunity, isn't it, to really test fitness and almost mental strength as well. Yeah, yeah, obviously, definitely all those things. I think for me personally, you know, I think I'm, I'm the sort of type of player, you know, that like, like is, as a hard worker does, you know, hopefully does a lot of the unseen stuff. So I think pre-season you know, for me, it's the sort of time to sort of flourish and just show the coaches how hard I'm willing to work, you know, show them that, you know, I'm willing to do the hard yards for the team. Um, but yeah, I say as well, mentally, you know, it's a, you know, it can you know, get into a dark place, but I think, you know, that sort of culture that Skibs has brought in, that sort of team buy-in, you know, everyone's everyone's in the same and, you know, you got you got to go to that dark place to sort of come out good at the end of the season. So yeah, definitely, definitely look, looking forward to it. Yeah, that's great. And yeah, just, just finally, t- tell me a bit about your sort of, long-term sort of goals um you know if you got anything set in your mind or you're just going to take it each season as it comes um yeah just talk me through a bit about that how how do you sort of set goals and um or again George Barton said he sort of takes it each game as it comes in a way um I wondered what your sort of thought process is um well I'll say definitely so obviously this is you know the third contract I've signed I've only ever signed as you know one-year deals um, and I think that's something personally that I really like. I just, I, I don't, I don't like having a cushion. You know, I like having to, you know, every every day I've got to go in and sort of turn up, you know, the right mindset, you know, to go in and press the coaches every game, go in, you know, play as best as I can to, you know, impress, impress people. And I think that's probably, yeah, the sort of, that's how I sort of, you know, set my goals. I think during the season, it'll sort of be, you know, seasons often split up into blocks you know, four to five games or sort of at the start of that, you know, think, well, right, what do, what sort of do I want to get out of these games? Um, you know, where do I want to be at the end of it? And then, you know, sort of reset, just keep keep going. So I think I'm definitely more of like a sort of short-term goal person. Um, and yeah, I say, yeah. Uh, 